That, that's you thinking like a plumber. Right. Okay, if you want to be a plumber, think like a plumber, go be a great plumber. There's a reason why you started a plumbing business because you were a great plumber. Okay, go be a great plumber for someone else. We're talking business here. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 404th episode of Potty Talk. And we're continuing our series of myth busting. <laughs> Why do I have trouble saying that? Myth busting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're debunking plumbing myths. Okay. All right. So, so far we've, you know, we, we, we debunked the, the plumbing myth that there's just not enough plumbing customers. Mm-hmm. There's no customers in my town. <laughs> also, we've also discussed um, that there just aren't any plumbers. Right. Right. That's oh, another, we, we killed that myth. We, right. Right. Killed it. There's no plumbers <laughs> anywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so those were episodes that have already been released. If you haven't heard those, go back and, and catch those for right? sure. Mm-hmm. And we're going to, you know, there's also the myth, you know, my, my customers won't pay that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can't charge that, you know, and we'll get to that. But this one mm-hmm. we're covering, I can't make enough money mm-hmm. with my plumbing business. I just can't make enough money. Robin Peter to pay Paul. Right. There's no money in plumbing. No uh, <laughs> more month at the end of the money. Right. Mm-hmm. All, all those kinds of things. One step, one step forward, two steps back. Okay. If you're experiencing that, okay. Just, just not enough money. Right. Mm-hmm. And part of this too, again, this, you know, I guess, um, you know, our subtitle would be, you know, stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner. CEO. Okay. And that is key to busting these myths. Okay. Or, you know, um, really you know, lies and, you know, excuses that we're, we're, we're telling ourselves. Okay. Okay. Or, or giving ourselves, you know, so on this one, we I can't make enough money, you know, a couple of things, you know, covering up front here before we get into it, mm-hmm. you, know, um, you know, a couple of thoughts here that, the idea that you're not selling, first of all, selling plumbing. Okay. Okay. The understanding this isn't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, we have to say this. It's not about plumbing. It ain't it's, about plumbing. It ain't about plumbing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, we, we're, and we're not, we're not, you know, we think we're selling plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that, that, you know, that's, that's got us a little hung up there as well. Again, yeah. not stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a, pl- a plumbing business owner. Mm-hmm. Okay. And also the idea, and this is, we get a little, get a little touchy feely here. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but you know, deep down inside, and we've seen this with literally hundreds and hundreds of, you know, plumbing business owners that we worked with. And, and we experienced, I experienced it. Okay. Um, is this, this thought that we really don't believe that we're worth it. Okay. That's a thing. That's uh, some head trash. Right. Head trash yeah, going that, that's on. A, that's a major head trash. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. I'm good. I, you know, I thought, what I, no, mm-hmm. you know, it's, mm-hmm. if you're not making money, um, it, cause, cause they're all, and I'll get to our first point here. There's all kinds of money to be made. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if we're not making money, it's really because we don't feel we're worth making the money. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let me okay. get, let's get, let's get into it here. All right, let's do okay. It. Which brings us to point number one. Okay. Ready for this? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you've heard this before. <laughs> point number one, you're sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> you're sitting on a gold mine. Okay? By owning a plumbing business, you you're are sitting, sitting on, on a gold, gold mine. mine okay? okay. You're just digging in the wrong spot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bottom, you're, you're just digging, uh, we see this time and time and time again. You're just digging in the wrong spot. What do I mean by you're digging in the wrong spot? Mm. Well, you're probably doing new construction. Mm. And we did talk about that pretty extensively in our last right. potty talk. But, but mm-hmm. even here, it's a big part of why, you know, I can't make the lie. I can't make any money mm-hmm. because you're, you're doing new construction. You're not going to make any money doing you're new, not. You're not, you're not going to make, you are not going to make any money in new construction. Nope. You're not going to make any money. No, because you have to, it's low dollar. You, you right. have to be low dollar. Right. And more than likely, you're not charging what your true hourly rate should be, which right. we, we've talked numerous times about that. And it'll um, probably also, come up again. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and that's Good. also on the very first thing we teach in our, our online academy, the Success Academy, what your true hourly rate is. And I, I guarantee on team, you, you're not charging enough. Right. In, po- post in the comments right now, what, what's your hourly rate? What is your hourly rate you charge right now? Right. For, for all jobs, not, well, it's according if they've got a nice car in the driveway or it's according if, you know, it's a bad part of town or whatever. No, what is your hourly rate that you're charging? You right. have to know. And, and we'll, we'll get to that. But it's, but it's you know, first of all, we're, you know, we're, we're plumbing in the wrong spot. Mm-hmm. You know, you're plumbing, doing new construction. You just aren't going to make any money with new construction. You just, it just uh, you, you can't. It, it is so, you, you know, I sometimes get accused of talking, you know, in, in extremes, extremes. But I just, I want to knock you upside the head. Mm-hmm. There's very, 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 very few examples of coming from nothing, a guy in one truck, mm-hmm. and then also making it big in new construction. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's because it's not even designed that way. 
You're the sucker. You're the ones they use to be able to rip you're, off. You're their bank. Right. You're, you're the, their right. bank. Okay. Um, with all the change orders and things like that too, right? Like normally, you know, when you're, when you're doing um, a residential service job, you're going in, you're looking at what needs to be done, water heater replaced, tub and shower valve, you know, drain, whatever it is. And it's okay. That needs to be done with new construction jobs. It's, you know, you're, you're, putting in a whole new bathroom or whatever you get out there you know you the gc says you got to hurry up you got to get out here because you know hurry up blah 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 you get out there and it's like well crap this part is even even done you know the electrician or the whoever drywaller is even right. done with so then you got to like well i gotta wait till he comes back so you just wasted all of that time you have that and then time is money time is money time and then you money. also have when um the the contractor then makes some changes right okay did we say it was going to be a single vanity we meant it was going to be a double vanity can you just take care of that for us can you just take care of that little thing um right and so now all of a sudden everything changes there's there's more parts is he going to sign a change order more than likely not hey I'll, yeah I'll, I'll make it up i'll make it on right. on the last bill you know we'll, we'll catch you on the last bill yeah not that's right. not going to happen either so that's one way that you are you're losing money by not working for a residential service customer right mm -hmm. and that leads to i, mean, I want to say you know it's the new construction when we all start we all start this way because we, yes, th we again we're thinking like plumbers not plumbing mm -hmm. business owners okay so we we get uh, as a plumber there's lots of work with new construction because they promise our mm -hmm. houses or even just the one house it takes you know it takes a few weeks to do the house and you're coming back later you know a month or so or two or whatever, and then doing the finish or whatever. There's, right. So there's a sense that there's work, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, because you're you've got maybe um, work for the next week or two, right? right. Scheduled, right? But but work does not equal money, mm -hmm. okay? The whole I'll just work harder mm -hmm. and I'll make more money. It doesn't it doesn't again. That's that's a plumber. That's plumber thinking, right? Not not thinking like a like a business owner, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, like, so new construction, commercial is another thing, you know, we get the commercial account. Mm -hmm. And so I'm cleaning all the grease traps and fixing all their urinals, at, you know, at the Walmarts or whatever, mm -hmm. which again, is we, we talked about this before about having the right customer. Okay. Um, it, it's all bottom dollar there, mm -hmm. very similar situation. Are you doing yep. warranty work? You know, all, all uh, that kind of stuff. Okay. Bottom line, mm -hmm. it all leads to the gold mine is residential service. Yep. Period. The gold mine is residential service. There's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Lots of customers. Lots yeah, of lots of houses is not lots of customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you mean lots of houses that a, a GC is building. Building, right. right. Like, yeah, yeah, lots of houses that a GC is building. Right. Not, that's just that's one, one customer. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not enough. Okay. Right. And that, lots of those houses doesn't mean a lot of money. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But lots of houses individually owned. Correct. Residential, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. is, is it, yeah, is, is the gold mine. Right. There's that, a gold mine everywhere. That, that, that's the gold mine. Mm -hmm. It was a gold mine. We just went through, uh, you know, the pandemic here and everything shut down. And, our client, you know, those that did residential service increased. Yep. Mm -hmm. Those that were new construction, you, you literally lost all your, you, you lost, you lost, you're done. Right. That, that, mm -hmm. that was a great example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. You know, so it's residential service is the place to be. That is okay. the gold mine. That's where you need to dig. Got it. Period. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go right to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two. Mm -hmm. All right. Know your honest hourly rate. Oh. The lovely Laura mentioned that. I did. Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's why you're not making enough money. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I get right to it. Stop stealing from your customers. Uh -huh. If you don't know why you're charging what you're charging, you're stealing from your customers mm -hmm. and yourself. And okay. your family. Okay. All right. But you're, you're stealing from your customers. Mm -hmm. This thing, well, I don't want to charge whatever, this or that. Or, I don't want to rip them off. Rip them, okay. And, then you, and you're just taking whatever you think you can get or what you charged at the last company you worked at or what you asked down at the you know, supply house. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you charging? And what I, okay. If you don't know why you're charging a customer, why you're charging what you're charging, mm -hmm. you're ripping your customer off. Yes. So get over yourself. Mm -hmm. You're ripping your customer off. Right. Okay? Yeah, if you don't know, right. truly know why you're charging the hourly rate that you charge. And again, it's not just because it's what I think I can get or what I feel like or whatever. No, that that's you thinking like a plumber and instead of thinking like a CEO, a yeah. business owner. Right. That's exactly right. That's mm -hmm. what I wanted to say there. That, that, that is plumber, plumber thought. Okay. Correct. Are you thinking what you're doing is I could, you know, well, I don't want to charge that. Like I'm ripping them off because that would be ripping me off. I, I can't afford that. Mm -hmm. That's plumber. That, that's you thinking like a plumber. Right. Okay. If you want to be a plumber, think like a plumber, go be a great plumber. There's a reason why you started a plumbing business because you were a great plumber. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, go be a great plumber for someone else. But we're talking business here, okay? And you got to think like a business owner. Correct. Okay, and a business owner wants to know, okay, what's it, what, what are all my costs, okay? And what, you know, what's all involved in my costs, right. okay? And, and it's and not just I'm, the materials on the job, and right. it's not just your time. Right. Okay. That, that does not equal a true honest hourly rate. It does not. Right. Mm. Right. Because, it's, well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to include not only all, all your expenses. Correct. Okay. All, mm. all, not just the expenses on the job. Right. But the expenses it takes to run your business. Right. Again, a plumber thinks, What's, well, I, this is my, what are my expenses? You know, my, I have some PVC pipe and I have this and that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And I won't mark it up at all. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I mark it up 40%. To, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, it's, it's all your expenses that include running your, your business. Okay? For the gas in your truck, right. the, cell, the cell phones, for um, internet service, for the lights in your shop. Insurance. Yeah, insurance. I mean, it's... Electric, yeah. Electric. Yeah, your, the salary for CSR, if you've got that, um, for whatever you pay for, you know, your SEO or your marketing all of those are the expenses, right? All of those. and that must must be included in there. Mm-hmm. Also includes um, all your growth expenses. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know you hear about uh, research with other companies called research and development. Mm-hmm. So like when I when I go to Taco Bell and buy my bean burrito minus onions, ex- extra cheese, no, and sour cream. Okay, all right. When I, when I buy that burrito, part of part of my expense in that burrito is what what Taco Bell calls research and development mm-hmm. for researching and developing new things to sell me. Mm-hmm. So I'm paying for that. Right. Okay. That's not coming out of their profits. Okay. Not to mention the profits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, that, that is, you know, something you add on. Okay. Mm-hmm. This, this is a business. Right. Okay. But also more importantly to this aspect of time. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're, you're including all your time, not just the time it takes to do that one task or whatever it is you're doing. Mm-hmm. Okay but all the time to operate your business. Right. That's built into your hourly rate. Mm-hmm. Your customers pay for everything. And we've got extensive training in our Success Academy on that, extensive, right. line by line, line right. by line. Yep. And, and, and it's simple. Mm-hmm. It's simple. I really don't want, you know, this isn't rocket science. Mm-hmm. Really, it's, it's, you know, I, I say it all the time that, um, you know, 20% of your success, you know, business success depends on doing, you know, the right things, you know, adding up things correctly. Two plus two equals four. Mm-hmm not five or three. Okay. It's that, it's that simple. All right. But 80% of it, um, is the head trash that we carry. Right. So no, I, well, two plus two, um, well, I feel, I feel it should be five. I feel that's what it should be. Okay. Whatever head trash we carry. Mm, okay. Right. You know, like, oh, oh, I can't charge that. Right. Okay. Or I'm mm-hmm. not worth that. I'm not worth that. Okay. Right. It's that's getting, it's, it's getting over that. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. And so, and part of this too, before I didn't, I don't want this to get away. You know, I want to say this, that this is not a hobby. It's a business. It's okay. There's a reason, you know, that you're not making enough money because you're treating it like a hobby. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a business. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's a hobby. You know, if, if you're not making money or if you're not making a profit, you know, it's not a business. Right. It's not a business. Okay. It, it does become a hobby. So, um, yeah, it the, ain't a hobby. Right. Profit, profit is good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And we've. Um, and profit for the business owner is good. We've been conditioned to think that somehow when, when you know, people are making money, more than just enough to get by, right. okay? And especially in these days, mm-hmm. okay? You being in business that is profitable, you've created this economy. That's, that's what allows you to buy other goods and services for your business, which buying those other goods and services puts other people keeps other people in jobs, mm-hmm. all right, in, yep. in life, okay? Mm-hmm. You're providing jobs. Mm-hmm. If, you're, if you're able to grow, profit allows you to grow, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. You're providing jobs, lives to... Right, for your plumbers and your right. staff so that they can go and buy a new TV. They can mm-hmm. go out to dinner with their family. They can contribute... Um, to the economy as well, which someone buys a new TV that just that gives somebody a job. Someone goes out to dinner, um, the the staff there, the the waitress or, or the cooks or whatever, that gives them a job. That's how this works. Right. right. So profit is not a dirty word. It's not a dirty word. Right. But we've been conditioned to think that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So profit is good. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Profit, profit is good. All right. Hey, another thing. I got another good thing for you here. Uh, All right. For joining us here. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. 
Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right, we're back. We're back. Uh, okay, all Thanks right. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us. One thing I want to mention as well, and, and um, hopefully always remember this, but if you are l- listening to us on your favorite podcast player, um, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a review, all those things. It really does help with um, getting the word out. It helps with algorithm. You guys know this. You depend on reviews as well. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, subscribe, turn on the little ding so that you get notified when uh, a new episode has dropped. Um, one thing, I haven't said anything about this on the last couple episodes. Um, We want our audience to be the kindest, nicest, um, friendliest people in their community, right? So when you're, I've said it before, and if you've seen some of my last podcasts and go on a rant about it, about where we don't look people in the eye or we don't um, greet each other if you pass someone in the street or you're going through a door at an establishment at the same time or you know, someone waves you in as you're driving and um, let's, let's you go in. Wave back, smile, say hello, hold the door open for people. Let's get back to be a, being a kind society, a kind people. And I, I want our Potty Talk audience and our Million Dollar Plumber audience to be those changers um, in society. And be like, boy, these plumbing companies all over the place, they're just the nicest people. So it's good for business. Mm-hmm. I mean, bottom line. Good for business too. Good for the bottom line. Yes. So okay. anyway, be yeah. nice. All right. Be nice. So there we go. All right. We're, hey, we're busting myths. <laughs> okay. okay. And this this episode, we're busting the myth that mm-hmm. I just can't make money with my plumbing business. Not true because you are sitting on a gold mine. You are sitting on a gold mine if you're digging in the right spot. And also you need to know your honest, your true and honest hourly rate. For okay. Sure. Yep. And then mm-hmm. finally, very important point number three, mm. stop being the bank. Okay. <laughs> this one is just crazy to me. This is what, mm-hmm. well, you don't look at it again. We're thinking like a, like plumbers instead mm-hmm. of like plumbing business owners. Mm-hmm. Okay. And by being the bank, what I mean is, especially as we're, you know, we're working for the GC. Mm-hmm. Okay. But think about this. Mm-hmm. And one of the reasons why you're not making any money is that you're working, you're working for free. I mean, you're, you're, um, you're financing, you're acting like the bank for the GC, mm-hmm. I mean, meaning they're getting all this work done, okay, mm-hmm. up front, and you're you know you're paying for the you know the the, the pipe and the pecs you know and and the labor and you mm-hmm. know every you know all, all this stuff Everything. okay the all gas right. that it took you your trucks to get to the, that location all of right. it I mean you're footing the bill for everything right mm-hmm. okay um, and and so and that's what causes us to get further further behind we get a little draw. Okay, but not enough to that recover. you begged for, right? That you absolutely begged for and had to chase him down. Okay, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or we're doing the same thing when we invoice. Okay, so Ugh. even if we do are doing service work, okay, and we're invoicing, and we're still then we're not like I mean, and uh, I know why you're doing it because you it's the confrontation at the end of the job, right? right? It's the confrontation of asking the customer um, at the end of the job for the money. So the um, you know, to pay for the service. A couple of ways to prevent that is whoever's answering your phones, it better not be you, whoever's answering your phones, you can set that up. Um, as you're wrapping up the call, you know, reiterating, you know, we'll be out between, you know, one and three this afternoon or whatever. And just as a, a friendly reminder, we do accept cash. Payment is due at the time of service. And we do accept um, all major credit cards and cash and check. Leave it at that. Um, and then also when you you get out to the job site, when your plumbers get out to the, to the not job site, but get, get out um, to the customer's home as you're making the presentation, they choose, you know, option two. And you're like, great, can okay, I get started? And just um, and so when I'm done, then um, I'll I'll let you, you know, we can come and inspect it, and then I can collect payment. And just as a reminder, we do accept cash, check, and all major credit cards. You set that up, and so that's one thing. But also, customers know they have to pay for something. Right. The, the thought that, that you're going to walk right. out of their house and not and do the work and not walk out with payment is ludicrous. It's right. absolutely ludicrous. Um, and so um, the and then, oh, that was I, I lost my train. Of th- and then thinking, OK, well, I'll, I'll when I get back to the shop, I'll bill. No, you don't. You forget. You Maybe, maybe at the end of the week, you'll remember. Or it's a month later, I'm like, and if your wife is the one doing the books, she's like, did you ever collect from, you know, Mrs. Smith? Did you ever collect that money? Hmm. How, how many clients have we had 
or even even heard from other coaches and all. I mean, where they're not, they don't, have, they're not making enough money. Of course, mm -hmm. that's what, a lot of times when you come to the academy, oh, and that's yeah. where we attract you. I mean, mm -hmm. if you you come in, um, you know, to the the academy, <laughs> um, it's because you're not making money. We mm -hmm. all had these issues or whatever. Um, but we find out that they have, you know, um, a billion and, and dollars in AR. AR, <laughs> right? That all right, this we're, money. We're uh, broke. We're right, broke. And we find out all these jobs that they haven't <laughs> even, Excuse you know, me. have, you know, haven't even built for. for. Right. Right. Yeah, I've got to hurry you up know. and get the that write up done. And I wasn't sure how much I paid for the one part, so I haven't been able right. to send the invoice over that I'm going to hand write out. Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. All right. So the, the bottom line here is, to stop behaving like a bank, you collect today. Collect okay? today. You're, you're not uh, everyone's finance department. Okay. There's no way. And, and also, there's, that's part of the customer experience. Correct. Okay. We, we'll get into the idea of, you know, the whole idea is making the customer comfortable. We, we think, you know, it's going to be confrontational or whatever. Mm. There's nowhere else in the customer experience where they don't pay right when they get their the service. Their food, the they're, they're good, whatever it is. They, they pay, they pay right then. Right. So the fact that they're not, you're not, you know, they're not paying you or you're not asking for pay mm -hmm. makes it that, that is uncomfortable. That's weird. It, right. Because then what's going to happen is you send the bill a month, a week right. later, whatever. They're going to get the bill and go, crap, what, what did I pay for this? Why, why, right. Especially if you didn't offer any options. You're like, okay, well, I'll bill you. And then it's major sticker shock. And that, that's beyond stupid. And, it, and it's that. always sticker shock. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Right. No one wants to spend money with the plumber, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's, and that that's it. Mm -hmm. it the value again, and we, we get into this, and we've talked about this, is in right now, and the customers will happily pay. I mean, we right. have have customers, we have we have clients that are charging five hundred dollars and over five hundred dollars an hour mm -hmm. for their honest hourly rate. They get great reviews and, and get customers great reviews, love them. gladly pay, you know, and love them because the, the value's in today. And okay. they, they provided all the service too. And, and there's other stuff that goes with. You got to look, you know, everything that goes with right mm -hmm. the experience, right? Mm -hmm. But you do the same thing, whether it's five hundred dollars an hour or fifty dollars an hour. A month later, the customer, no one wants, wants to pay, wants to call a plumber. No one wants to pay a plumber. Mm -mm. So it's $50 for. Uh, I paid what, what for, for what? what? Yeah. Because yeah, now it's not an emergency. Right. Right. It's no longer an emergency. What, you know, the, the drip from the, from the um, ceiling or whatever the, the emergency of needing to have a plumber out, that's, and you took care of it. That's gone. So now they get a, a bill a week or a month or whatever later that emotion also still isn't there. Now it's not, there is no value to it because that's done. That that leak you took care of, that is right. gone from Mrs. Jones's mind the minute you walked out and the it's door. Not, it's not something that you show off. It's not It's not a, a nice outfit or oh. something to your ca car. <laughs> something they got to of, hang up on the wall. You know, a, a new, you know, mm -hmm. a, you know, a new, new gun or a new, well, I mean, whatever is something you could, you know. New pots and pans pot, or right. something that was... Right. Somewhat fun, yeah. Right. There's nothing. No, right. it's in the it's in the wall. It's in the it's in the basement in a in a pit. Right. Whatever, right? Right. So you you'll be dealing with that. Mm -hmm. But to make the money, you're not making enough money. It's because you're not collecting today. You're not collecting today. Okay. And again, um, Stripe, Stripes, no Square. Square is the easiest thing to get. Go online, look at Square. They give you a little um, swipey thing, and it's super easy. And yes, you're going to pay two whatever point something percent, more than likely anywhere between like one point seven five to, to two and a half depends um, on um, for merchant fees. But who who pays for that? Right, your customers pay for that. Right, your customers pay for that. In point number two, your true honest hourly rate. Um, so yeah, you, that's just the part of doing business. Don't say, well, I'm not going to take credit cards cause I'm not going to, you know, get dinged with those merchant fees. And that's just a ripoff. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 2% on a hundred dollars, which none right. of your job should be on a thousand dollars, 2%. What is that? 20 bucks? Really? Right. Really? Right. So bottom line here, if you're not making enough money with your plumbing business, mm -hmm. it's because you're choosing not to. Yep. It's your, it's your responsibility. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you're, Make these little changes. Right, you're sitting on a gold mine. You are. You know, if you're digging in the right spot, the right spot's residential service, mm -hmm. okay? And then charging your honest hourly rate. It's honest to your customer and it's honest to you and your business, mm -hmm. all right? And then stop being the bank. Collect.
today. It makes the customer feel comfortable and it makes you feel really comfortable too when you got money in the bank. I'd much rather I've said mm-hmm. it time and time and time and time and time again. I'd much rather have $500 today than the promise of $5,000 next week. Because you probably ain't getting it. Right. Well, is, is that, but it's just it's a thing of cash flow, mm-hmm. the money, the money in the bank. Yep. Okay. It's amazing how just getting the money in the bank, how you wind up having enough money. It's, it solves okay. lots and lots of problems. And it's the mindset. Stop mm-hmm. thinking like a plumber. Yep. Start thinking like a plumbing business owner. There you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, and if, if you're, and if you're ready to think like a plumbing business owner, let's talk. Okay. You know, I've, I've mentioned the success Academy. We mentioned that, that may be, may be an option for you. Um, but the bottom line, um, let's have a conversation. Mm-hmm. We'll get you pointing in the right direction. Okay. We, um, we we'll just want to have a conversation. We'll find out where, where you're at, kind of, kind of what's standing in your way, mm-hmm. and we'll point you in the right direction. One of the directions may be the Success Academy. You may be ready for that, okay? Mm-hmm. But in any case, let's have a conversation. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call, all right, and schedule your free strategy call, and we'll go from there. All right. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, mm-hmm. good stuff. We debunked this myth. Yeah, we did. Okay. Busted it right open. All right, no more excuses, <laughs> all right? <laughs> There we go. Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.